Now, welcome. If you just join us, you do watch um, the Good Morning Niger show. And if you just join us, you don't really miss because now the show don't enter two hours, meaning to say now nine o'clock it go to end. So everything you need to get all the information we say you need within this few hours, without uh, wasting wasting your time anymore. Make we enter our next segment. You know, so today of course we already discussed our Independence Day. We're gonna see plenty green, white, green for outside. Uh, but beyond the celebration, we say some people even talk say waiting with the celebrate. Well. I don't talk about before we get plenty of things to celebrate. Meanwhile, we get for inside studio here, uh, Mr. Eliaza Wadugu, Esquire. So join us. Make we talk about this, our independence. Make we look Nigeria generally. Make we even also look some of the things that we say the president don't be mentioned for in speech this morning. Which way Nigeria? Now would they ask to be. Very sir. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Hey, good as you join us for our show today. Happy Independence Day. I wish you very soon. I mean, the few say I go see small green. Uh, on top of your body this morning, you know they follow for the color. Uh, of course, um, immediately after this time out, I would go have a proper celebration. You know, o of course, at the office, everyone is at home. Yes. So uh, it will be a great day. I'll change from this and, and have a just proper relax. celebration. Okay, interesting. Um, Barrister, maybe we could just uh, look today as a bit generally. Uh, many people they wonder, say, what thing would they celebrate? If you go east, IPOB they won't come and say, make nobody come out. Uh, the Yoruba brothers said, one also don't mention their own before, and then go join um, that matter. For Lagos State, well, we know they do parade, but government talks say now on top um, health issues, you know, this um, COVID um, awareness matter. But on a general, general note, you feel, say, we get something to celebrate at 60? Well, the, the truth is that the only thing we have to celebrate is that we are still here, or we still have ourselves. You know, we can pat ourselves in the back and say that we have survived this long and this far, despite the fact that we've been tethering on the edge for so long. Mm. I think that is what is actually worth celebrating, even though it is perhaps the only thing we can celebrate. You see, because the truth is, if we have to look critically at things, we know that there is li little or nothing mm -hmm. to celebrate, apart from the fact that we are here. There is little or nothing to celebrate. We, we have not moved. We, we have progressed only in regression you know, over the years. And people who were here in 2019, people who were here in 2015, know the difference between 2015 and now, whether or not We've, we've, we've had a pandemic, you know, and all that. We, we know that we have not progressed in the way and manner we ought to. Okay. And maybe we'll just sort of the question where President Buhari asked this morning, and it be saying a question, we'll be saying many Nigerians said they ask. In be say, um, where do we do things right? Um, we do on course, and if we know they on course, how we fit correct time, how we feel retrace our steps and I waiting many Nigerians would ask this morning. And you see, you already don't talk, say, even if yes, um, the only reason to celebrate and say we still day here um, as a country, say nothing else, day together. Where do you think, say, we fill this exam? Well, well um, Nigeria's problem actually started with not just its, its but coming together or the together of the various parts of the entities that now make up very foundations of our creation. Now I'll give you, you know, specific things that with the Treaty of 1914, we had the creation of um, the colony and protectorate of Nigeria. Now that colony was meant to exist for up to a hundred years. It was up to it, it was it was meant to exist up to a hundred years, but unfortunately or rather Fortunately for us, it mm -hmm, didn't. Mm -hmm. Now, in 1960, we had a constitution which gave us independence, okay. which is what we are actually celebrating today. Yes. But from the creation of the nation itself, there was an imbalance in power. There was a lot of problems. Okay. Well, and I want to make, yeah, but just let me hold on your thoughts. We could take a quick break. When we come back, we will continue. Uh, like I like as you've done already, they break the story down. They come. We will take a quick break. When we come, caution, we'll fire on. 
Welcome back, uh, now Mr. Eliaza uh, Madi Uguna. In this studio with us today, Esquire, make I add for there, in the barrister. Um, and before we just take that break, in because they discuss where it be like, say, since managed to take spoil for this our journey when we call Nigeria. Yes. Barista. So I was basically trying to explain that the problem of Nigeria actually started with its with the very foundations of its of its creation. And one of the problems, of course, can be identified in the imbalance of power. It is, it is this same imbalance of power that has made it possible for a particular part of the country to produce um, all the persons occupying the apex leadership positions for 45 out of the 60 years of, of you know, its existence. Now, you would always agree that this position is not an ideal, ideal position for, for any nation to actually find itself in, especially in a nation where there are very diverse ethnicities, okay. all right? Now, that is just a part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Just a few years into the existence of Nigeria as a nation, yes. you also had a situation where you had a military, consistent and continuous military interventions that assisted in stultifying the growth of this, nat of, uh, you know, of this nation. Currently, Nigeria is actually operating its fourth republic, which is not supposed to be so. But again, that is the story of many African, you, you know, many African nations, as well as many nations across the world who just found or chanced upon independence. Okay. So the problem of Nigeria can be traced to the very foundations of its of its creation and its growth and its, you know. Well, I trust that only you they think like this. Many people go down, they think this. Even some people say that even the government itself go down already look and say, it get many things we say we're supposed to change. Many people they even look and say our constitution gets serious wahala. And before we even tweak and small that, and they talk to now decree, 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 now in full day. And um, if things don't change, it's supposed to change. So everybody's supposed to sit down, look as the matter be. Look how we take care and fit start, begin the remedy of the problems that we don't get. And Oga, if many of us don't already realize this one, we don't already know say, now nah, waiting day be this. We don't already know say, foundation what we start with, we're supposed to change them. What do you think say they delay this change now? Now, the, 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 the main crux of the delay to any change or any growth mm. or, or development in Nigeria is actually the elite. Okay. The elite is the problem of this country. And the reason I say this is because they stand to gain the most from the current structure mm. of Nigeria. And they also stand to lose the most if things change for the better. And very often people hang on to to what they know instead of taking a chance for what they do not know. So for an instance, it would be very difficult to understand what Nigeria would look like politically mm -hmm. if we had a proper restructuring or if we had a proper federal system as against the uni uni unitary federal system that we you know, okay. you know, currently operate and all that. So the problem of Nigeria is the elite mm -hmm. of Nigeria. Some other persons will, will, will actually argue that the problem of, of, of Nigeria are the people of Nigeria. I can only accept that to, for, you know, to a small extent. Yes, we understand that the elite of Nigeria are actually derived from the people of, course. of Nigeria. But the elite of Nigeria are different from the masses of Nigeria. It is the elite that has a singular role and, and, and responsibility to take Nigeria from where it presently is to where it ought to be, all right? Now, if they are unable or unwilling or I incapable of doing that, what it means, of course, is that we will have a Nigeria that is not, it's only good for the elite, but is unsafe, is um is is okay, when, when they talk this um, elite matter, mm -hmm. um, like I said, continue where you talk. Say, get people saying and go argue. Say, this elite where they talk, then self be ordinary people once. Um, but make it very clear for me because as you they talk, my mind just they go to certain group of people. People when be say, he blessing at them they there from the very beginning. He blessing at them be the king makers. He blessing at them when be say, uh, from the time we be so in both the ground. 
to the time when we say um, some kind of democracy take enter, civilian rule take enter, to when military enter, these people still do all that journey. Now they know the inner workings of government. And people will they, they call elite leaders because some people will say, you know, matter how masses take land money today, enter you know corridors of power, they still feel not reach that level of elites. Make we make them very very clear. Now, what you, so what do you mean by elite here? Yes, well, what I mean by elite are the people in government, mm -hmm. the people who have been elected, mm -hmm. and the people who have had the great fortune or the opportunity of holding leadership positions, especially um, at higher levels. It's not those people. Now, I'm me and you now. So when they go back to that argument to say Nigeria problem, not be really, yes, not the elites, but the elites are like a handful, not them be. Um, the masses, uh, would they see ordinary people like you and I, we say, we go talk, we go sound today, like say, we know what's in the worry country. The moment when we say they manage an election, enter position of power, it can't be like, say, get different or something, they give them drink. The person will be say, don't want, want, once upon a time for in life, in don't feel the suffering of your fellow Nigerians, in don't argue, see where we're all day, we can't enter power, forget what's in the happen. So don't you know since an issue of bad followership now with the suffer when we say when they come migrate enter into position of leadership now what's in they carry from when they day now they carry enter from when they day on top yes i i perfectly understand your point mm -hmm. but you see the flaw in it is that we always seem to forget that we are operating a system okay if you become a part of the elite if you become a leader if you get elected into a position you get elected into a system. You become a part of the system, mm -hmm. in fact. Now, if the system is built not to run properly, mm -hmm. if the system is, is built to, 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 to malfun malfunction, you are going to malfunction with that system. You will. It does not matter if you were the Pope. If you, if you are the Pope in Rome and you are brought into the Nigerian system, you will not be able to, to make things happen. But everybody also talks, say, it is not cast in stone. I, I mean, um, person they wake up one day, talk, say, we won't bring about change, we won't make difference. So if make we know the stand up, like, say, this system we don't do on the ground, nothing fit shake them, unless now on a reality, say, nothing fit shake them. Because they look the matter, say, people say that in day, you know, um, legislature right now, legislative arm of government, now they're supposed to make rules, we're even supposed to change within there. People go talk, say, why can't go change within they benefit them? So I could just throw this question to you. If people say that they're supposed to make difference, not they in the mood, or not they ready to make the difference, so that they're not going to lose, how we go bring about this change? We'll exactly. Talk about? Now, people have started doing things that can make a difference. Yes. People like you, mm -hmm. who come on TV, who speak, people who use social media, people who write in the, in the print and in the press. But Nigerians generally have to do a little bit more. And that is, in fact, why I'm a bit happy to hear that the government is taxing Nigerians even more. Because the result of that is that if you get to tax your people a lot more than the they get to pay in taxes. The, one of the direct consequences is that they would become interested mm. in governance. It happens everywhere. Look at the, the United States. It has one of the highest taxes in the world, one of the highest tax regimes in the world. Look at the UK, the same thing. Look at many countries that work. Mm -hmm. they, have one of the high, they, they have some of the highest tax re regimes mm -hmm. in the world. So it is going to directly impact on the people if they actually pay more taxes. While it, it might be difficult at this stage to ask people to pay more, the fruits of paying more taxes means that we will begin to question our leaders, we'll begin to ask for them to account. Okay, look at organizations are springing up everywhere. So you mean say, within Nigerians just they docile at the moment because they really know they to pay much for governance? Yes, mm. that is part of the, re of, of the reason. And that is also a direct correlation with the fact that in the course of their growth as a people, they have often thought of, of, um, of providing for themselves, fending for themselves, as against allowing a government to perform its primary functions of being a government, that is to secure, uh, um, to secure your property, to 
to um, assure you of, of, of your freedoms and to uphold your rights. Mm. No, so Nigerians uphold their rights themselves, provide everything for themselves. At a point in time, when you pay more for, for these things, you will understand that the state has a responsibility to its people. And as a people, you will begin to demand that the state provides those things. All right, and then Barrister Blessing, I hear we could just end this our conversation this morning on a very key point where we say you don't read, you don't help us trace um, as things take start from the beginning. You don't also help us pinpoint where Wahala takes starts more. You also don't highlight what we say we suppose do to correct waiting day on ground. This last point where you don't bring up, I sure that this thing will really cause a lot of arguments uh, for people who say that they watch us this morning. And don't talk very key matter when we say, as we know agree speak up um, on to what they happen for our country and as governance day, um, it'd be like say, this new new tax where government don't introduce, increment for tax, we make everybody sit down and say, wait to, why can't they pay 50% more? And uh, the one white people for waiting and carry and they do, maybe that one I ain't gonna ginger us now. So they ask and they demand for better governance for our country. Because people like say the ones who said don't they happen since the right take down will take wake up. The general and the equal so for this discussion be say we need change. We need a difference. Nigeria suppose move from past to say uh, our testimony be say war no day and we still day together as one country. Our guy Lazar they talk say we get much more uh, to celebrate if all of us chukai inside government matter. Malga, thank you very much. Uh, for this discussion, I, I must tell you, say, as short as it be, you drop the right point. We say, we suppose here this morning, we say, as we did celebrate, make we question ourselves. Even President also come for his speech today, say, where we miss him? What thing we suppose to do? Look yourself, ask yourself that question for Miro. The power there our hand. We'll take break. But before that time, we can let you know, say, we also work out, go for our side. Ask people, say, what thing they think about this Independence Day?